I just shared with the president, we have a tradition for millennia that when we, the Jewish people, encounter a leader of such magnitude, we make a special blessing to the creator of the world. Please answer, Amen. Baruch atah adinoi eleheinu melech ha'olam shenasan mikvoidai lebasar v'adam. Blessed are you, our Lord, King of the universe, that you have shared part of your glory and love and compassion with a human being who maintains the honor of every innocent person and every Jew forever. Thank you, Amen. I like him. speech that was. <laughs> but you know, you folks, uh, there are a lot of things happening over there that aren't very good. And uh, I gave you, in Jerusalem, the embassy. That was a big deal. <laughs> but every president promised it. And I understand now why they didn't do it. Because they all promised it, promised it, never got it done. And that's for many presidents, right? For, that's been going on for many decades. Because when I got to office, the pressure that was put on me to not do it was incredible. I got a call from every leader and every part of the world, practically, but especially that part of the world. Kings, you understand kings, right? Kings. <laughs> and uh, kings of countries that were slightly different. And uh, they were saying, you know, you can't do that, you can't do that. And everybody said, you can't do it. And then it was known that I was going to do it in two weeks, and I started getting tremendous amounts of calls. And I didn't, I, you know, I don't like saying no, so I didn't take a call. I said, listen, just tell them I'm going to call them back. I'm very busy. I'll call them back. <laughs> and then I did it. We got it done. It's done. We got it built. And then I announced it, and then I 
following day, I went into the office, I made about 25 calls. Hello, King, how you doing? Oh, I wanted you to call me back, so why? <laughs> they said, we didn't want you to do that with Jerusalem. I said, don't worry about it, it's done already. There's nothing I can do myself. <laughs> they said, oh, I can't believe it. It's much easier, you know, just say, I'm sorry, I didn't, I wish I could have gotten back to this. <laughs> about 30 of those calls, everyone was the same. It was too late. But it's not too late. I'll tell you what, uh, we have to protect and we have to watch. You know, that was an interesting case because a lot of you are business people. And uh, they came into my office to sign like a $1.3 billion deal after I approved it. And I said, you know, uh, that's sort of a lot of money, right? What was that?